So I want to go keep that going, all right? Yeah. All right. Her appetite for love has led her to tables. Women should never take seats at. Her longing for affection has shortened her chances of running into a guy who thinks she is worth the distance. She knows this love she desires can only be found in the God she used to visit every Sunday as a child, yet persuaded by her flesh that she can somehow find this love on her own. Her search ends quickly. Giving herself to a guy she thinks she knows, surprise, communication is key, but his language is weird. He speaks with his hands. <laughs> Conversations of love are always followed with a closed fist to the face of the one he says he loves the most. Life is a dance floor. Come on. <coughs> At first, you're stepping in the name of love. Mm -hmm. Grooving to the sounds of slow gems until one day things get crump. Now all y'all seem to do is D low scuffle. She tried to do the running man. But it was no match for his electric slide in front of that door. He is the bot king of her soul. Mm -hmm. oh Replaced hickeys well, with hickeys. No chocolate boxes of kisses, just boxes of band-aids placed on her bruised lips. This once romantic man has turned into a controlling demon with power over her mind. Even the thought of her leaving will be done. His swag of a whale distracted her from seeing that spiders prey on those who are fly. Her cute face couldn't save her from the wrath of his hand. She screams, I can't take it anymore. Grabs knife, holds it to his throat, and right before the blade becomes intimate with his neck, two people show up. One reminds her of the beating she took and how he deserves to die. The other <coughs> Reminds her of the beating he took so they both could live. If she listens to the first, then she will be nothing greater than a scum she has killed. Two wrongs don't make a right, no matter how right it feels. If she listens to the second, then she will be victorious. Vengeance belongs to the Lord just because you're the victim doesn't mean that this battle is yours. Come on, brother. Not against flesh and blood. It's war. It's between dark and light and domestic abuse is the results of a man that is living a sinful life. The price of sins was paid by a man who lived a sinless life. There is healing at the hem of his garments. I dare you to put your hands on Christ, but a man who has yet to make peace with God will always struggle to fight sin. It's like asking a blind man to lead a group of blind men. The traits of abuse can be linked all the way back to the garden when he ate of the fruit. He cursed every seed that would be planted in the wombs of women. Take a good look around and you'll see that atoms don't fall too far from the tree. Yes. <laughs> was a stranger to their ears. They thought that their ship of wickedness was too far to be drifted by the waves of grace as the power of the Spirit drew them closer to the shore. And I'm sure that he never pictured life offered at the flash of death. The gift of repentance was given to them both. Night hits the floor where four knees now rest, hands in the air as tears flow from both their eyes like twin rivers. She surrenders to a greater love. He surrenders to a greater power. Freedom is only free to those who would never know what it's like to pay the cost of your searching for love. Then please look to the heavens. And if you can't control your anger, then give your life to the one who is able and if you're neither of the two. Please praise for them both. Wow.